today we're going to show you the old country trick of Zhou Fen and Xue Fen in the country of Taiwan. Trying a lot of Taiwanese street food. Wow. Experience of drinking Taiwanese tea in a Taiwanese tea house. It's got a bit of that flower taste. Original uh, taste, Chinese tea, I love it. Visiting the broadest waterfall in Taiwan. Oh, look at so the view. Oh, oh. So beautiful. And of course, what well, we came all the way here for, Sky Lantern. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another episode here in Taiwan. And today we're going to a very famous tourist attraction, Zhou Fen and Xue Fen. So first of all, for you to go to Zhou Fen or Xue Fen, there are multiple ways. One way is to join a public tour and you can book it through Club here. But alternatively, if you don't want to join a group, you want to have your own timeline and be flexible with your schedule, then you can actually go by yourself. So there are two other ways. You can either go by bus and the second way is by railway, which is what we're doing today. Alright, so for you to go to Zhou Fen and Xue Fen, it's a little bit confusing, but I'll explain you step by step. But basically, when you're in Taipei Main Station, you buy one of these tickets at the vending machine, and you gotta read for which platform you're going to. So platform 3, platform 4. So this time we're going to northbound trains, and the station we're going to is refound. So this way, platform 4. What do you think as a foreigner taking trains to uh, Zhou Fen? I don't understand nothing. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, have you really? It's like, oh, it's so hard for me. You see one of these signs, they are all in Chinese. English. Oh, in English too, but still the station names doesn't feel like English. A couple of ways you can travel to Jiufen or Shufen. So before this trip, I actually did a lot of research in terms of transportation because back then there wasn't a train to go there. Because last time I remember, I actually, my father actually drove all the way from Taipei to Shufen. But then because this time my international license expired, so we cannot drive there. That's why this time we're taking public transportation. Oh, train, train, yeah. Thank you. This person here actually advised me not to take this train, the next one. If you can drive, then I will highly recommend driving all the way to Jovan because it's just a lot easier. But otherwise, transportation, you take a train to this station called Rifang, and after that, you take a bus. Two methods, so train and then bus. These trains here actually kind of remind me of Japan bullet trains in a way. I actually thought the trains in Taiwan would be like one of those like super old, like outdoor ones, but this looks like a bullet train in Japan, I love it. This is what I was imagining in mind going to uh, Jiofen. This is the kind of style of train I was imagining, not the bullet train just then. So we have arrived in Raifang and now we're gonna change to a bus. So just a heads up, if you get on one of these trains, make sure to get on early because the seats are first in first serve. So if you don't get on, then you have to stand up for around 35 minutes train just stands. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, recommend it. Preferably, definitely get on the train early. So from here, we're gonna get on the bus to Jofen. But if you're going to Shufen first in your itinerary, you can actually take a train directly from this station. If you're confused as to where to go, you can actually look at the signs here. So this one says going to Jofen, so this way. Oh, what is this sunlight? The thing about traveling in July in Taiwan is that it's super sunny and it's the peak summer time. Usually it's not the peak season, but we came here because it's not the peak season. Bright sun, make sure you put some sunscreen. Where's bus stop? Once you get off the train from Rifan, you can actually take the bus. So there are multiple transportation options to go to Jovan. One being you can take the taxi, which is a little bit more expensive, but it is faster. The second way is being bus, so you can actually pull up your Google map and start searching it. So there are a couple of buses that go there. Just a quick update about the taxi. So the guy actually got off the taxi and started trying to convince someone to get on his taxi. So he was saying 50 Taiwan dollars for one person, so two people were 100 Taiwan dollars. But for you to catch a bus, it's only around like 10 to 15 Taiwan dollars. So it's a huge big price. Now we are at 
Jofin Main Street Old Town. So we're gonna drop down our bags to the hotel first. So this time we are staying at a very special hotel. So we'll show you in a bit. But right now, let me focus on climbing up these stairs because these stairs are super steep and we're carrying like a 15 kilogram bags behind us. So it's quite tough. We're just going into a store with aircon just to catch a half time break. This souvenir store actually has lots of unique souvenirs and very so cute, cute, adorable ones like bubble tea, for example. <laughs> Famous thing about Taiwan is, of course, bubble tea. You've got lots of, you know, magnets to stick to your fridge, got earrings, the sky Whoa! So if you shake it, then it lights up. Another thing that's very special here in Taiwan is tea. Chinese tea that are everywhere in Taiwan. And this is the package that we import to the Philippines yeah. that we have at home. I want to try. Mm. And Lena is still drinking hot tea. Because tea gives me energy. I'm okay with my cold tea. But how is the tea here? So good. Yeah? Oh my goodness, it is so tough walking up hill here. I, I don't know if there is another bus stop at the top, but we came from down to up, so it was tough. We were sweating. We were, yeah, it's crazy. So, we need to change into our slippers. Then you know, this hotel is pretty clean. Wow, so cool. Cool. This place is the hotel that we're staying for the next two nights. So we'll be staying here for both Jofen and Chufen. And my first impression of this hotel is that it's very cozy. It feels like a home state. So you can see like there's a bathroom there, there's a bedroom. Here and here is already the reception counter that has this old like Chinese, I don't know what it's called, like tea restaurant style. Yeah, the music, it's like the massage music. Yeah. View, like. Mm -hmm. Cannot leave that out as well, so beautiful. After a bit of wait, room is ready. They're super nice, they allow early check-in. So the man was actually having lunches then, but he rushed to clean the room for us. All right, let's see our room. It's not in particular like the most luxury or like the most spacious bedroom, but it's definitely very home style and cozy. I like the style, so traditional. This is our bed for the next two nights. Soft, it's quite spacious as well, so that's good. And there's a nice painting on the back and let's see the streets. So it's a pretty standard toilet, I would say. Nice and cozy, so we'll be here the next two nights. After a bit of rest, we came out to the main street of Jofen and now we're gonna start eating. So we haven't had lunch yet and it's a late lunch, three o'clock-ish. So now instead of having a big lunch, because there are so many local street foods on this street so we're gonna do some small bites here and there go to multiple places and the first stop for today we're having fishball noodle at Cheung Ki Thank you First impression, everything is in Chinese Fishball soup noodle is here and it looks pretty nice the fishball is nice and soft and this must be a pork mushroom bowl I believe and the noodles texture is very different to egg noodles this looks like handmade noodles actually so I'm very excited for it it's 85 new Taiwanese dollar there's a lot of juice inside sorry 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 mm. This one inside is so special. So outside is a fish, inside is like mince, and inside have soup as well. So it's so tasty. It's like a xiao long bao, but we're wrapped with fish bowl. Delicious noodle just then. It was so delicious. The mixed fish bowl. There's a squid bowl as well. Ten out of ten for the noodles. Like that texture and the taste. Next stop, let's go. Oh, this is the taste. Oh, it smells like home. It smells like home. Is this one? No, it's this one right in front of me. So this place sells pork floss. So usually when I was young, I put pork floss into my sandwich, put it with mayonnaise. Come Combine together, it's such a good taste. Oh, I want to try this one. Give me, give me okay. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. It's like a Japanese, uh, the, they put. Are the like, toppings on rice? Yeah. Mm. Put in bread, so good. Can we buy this? No, you want to buy everything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what is this? Dry strawberry. Wow. So cool snack. What is this? Peach. Peach. Oh, I'm going to try the fish. strawberry one. I like strawberry mm -hmm. It's like a strawberry in your cereal. That yeah. That's what it tastes like. This one, how much? Mm. I want the tea. tea. If you're a dry fruit fan, then you've come to the right paradise because this store sells a variety of different dry fruits. For example, strawberry, dry ones, they've got peach, and I'm not too sure what this is, but quick look at it. Oh, melon. Yeah. Ah, wow, that's a big tube. And this is dragon fruit. Yes. Wow. <laughs> How First many time grams dry yeah. fruit. This is 250 Taiwanese dollar. So I think we're gonna buy this one because it's really so crunchy. Dry, crunchy, strawberry, really cool taste. Our next destination is Taiwanese sausage. I don't exactly remember how different it is compared to normal sausage, but today we're gonna try and tell you what it tastes like. She just put the sausage on the grill and she's like, sort of like trimming it a little bit, open up the sausage, then the sausage bends and it breaks. It is a smell that it's like sweet sausage kind of thing. 
smells sweet. I don't know that you describe. Yeah, Taiwanese sausage. It's um sausage, but sweet. That's all I could say. Sweet, yeah. yeah. So but in terms of the sausage texture and everything, it's... I never eat sweet sauces. Maybe only in China. Next up, we're here at Aju Peanut Ice Cream Roll. So this place is particularly famous for their ice cream roll, and there are lots of uh, new goods that they sell here as well. Things that are different flavored. Oh, wow. Wu si. Thank you. Well, this is so interesting. See, this looks better than it seems, right? Yeah, right. Because it's um, in a photo, it's open, but this is closed. Mm. It's yeah. cold. This is ice cream, more like an ice inside mm. with the peanut around and in lavash <laughs> <laughs> burrito. <laughs> It doesn't have much taste, like Alina said, it tastes like ice, like just like ice. The peanut flakes that adds extra flavor into it, that was that's what makes it delicious, I think. And I like the skin as well, it's not too thick, it's just right, so they see. This one. This one, yeah, this one is the best. Yeah, yeah, so good. It is expensive, but it's worth it. I think it is really good tea. I can't describe. It. It's like when you drink honey, then it smooth out your throat. This is exactly how it tastes like. A little bit sweet taste after taste. Yeah. Already. When you drink, it's like normal tea, but after. Hey, you get the enough. This is the importance of marketing. These two, they are the perfect sales. They speak like three, four languages, and just the way they describe it is like, oh, this has this benefit. This one has this benefit. Yeah. This one's gonna make you live longer, and like that's sell me in really. We passed this road many times, and I always saw how many people buy exactly here so that's why I get so interesting and I just try I just try I didn't want to buy this okay. that's really good tea the woman speaks so fast she was like you're so handsome and she's so beautiful you guys should get, get married get baby and your baby was so beautiful and then something like oh yeah get married get married get married get married <laughs> you're so funny, it's so funny. Oh. yeah I love Taiwan I love people here oh. uh, hello oh how that check out this, what it appears to be like a mochi kind of thing, is actually not sweet so, and it's not a dessert. <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> because I grew up in Hong Kong, so I know what sticky rice is. Inside, it's like sticky rice kind of thing, but outside it's mochi. So it's mochi wrapped with sticky rice. So for me, it's quite interesting. It has this savory taste. This is really interesting. Yeah, it's really delicious, I would say. I would actually give this an 8 out of 10, I think. This one just in was 20 New Taiwan dollars. It's like a pie plus egg plus onion. In Russia, I have like this pie. Yeah, they like this taste. For me, it's like passable, I would say. I recommend you trying this yourself so you determine how it tastes because some people like it, some people don't like it. For me, I think it's pretty good, but I think about Lena. It's okay, three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not okay, that's like bad, three. Now we're here at a famous attraction here called Ame Tea House. So this tea house is one of the biggest reasons why people come to the town of Jofen because it has a resemblance of a town in the anime, Spirited Away. And that's why there are so many souvenirs selling across the whole Jofen. You can see like keychains of Spirited Away ghosts. But uh, actually, the director of Spirited Away actually denied um, they take the concept of this tea house, but rather somewhere in Japan. So tomorrow morning, we'll actually be coming back to this tea house and gonna drink some tea. The reason why we choose in the morning is because it is less crowded in the afternoon usually it's super packed and you gotta wait in line and at night it's not good to drink tea so see you guys tomorrow morning Good morning guys, welcome back to this morning. But now we're gonna go to Ame Tea House to get our energy dose of tea. Yeah, let's go. Alright. 
right, so now that we're set in and she actually gave us two different menus. So this is a set menu that everyone gets for 300 new Taiwanese dollar. So that's around $10 per person. You actually get to choose the iced tea option or the hot tea option. And it comes with these kind of snacks as well. So this includes green bee cake, mochi and sweet plum and sesame crackers. Apart from this menu, there's also another big menu here. I like the paper like feeling here. This one has some uh, fruit tea and also snacks that you can order from the side on top of this set menu. This is like a ancient Chinese, like how they write things. It's like a book back then. Basically they write all the teas here that you can drink and this is shared between two people or alternatively, that's a dessert behind. But everything, it's only in Chinese, so. Okay, let's try. This is oolong tea. Mm, tastes good, like oolong. <laughs> Original taste of Chinese tea. I love it. Let's try the snack. Oh, it's hard. Come on. It's some fruit, dry fruit. So interesting. All right, so here we have the lotus tea. I didn't know lotus is yellow. I thought lotus is like red and greenish, but inside maybe it's the yellow. It tastes like water after taste now. It's got a bit of that flower taste. This tea right here is a very light and easy drink, I would say. If you don't like strong tea, like dense oolong tea, then I would say flower tea would be a good option for you because like I said, it's very light. It tastes really like water. It's only the aftertaste flowery, yeah. So what I like about this tea house is the atmosphere here because of the beautiful decorations all around. Let me show you guys. So starting from the traditional teapots and cups here, very beautiful and elegant glass pots here. And from the entrance, you see two big bars there. You've got some statues, sculptures, some like handwritten ancient Chinese, but actually this Japanese words from what I'm reading here. And you've got lots of traditional Chinese furniture here as well. And because Jovan initially was a mining set discovered by the Japanese, and here they've got like a gold, original Jovan gold from the gold mines. And you've got more statues here and beautiful paintings at the bar. And right at the top of the staircase, you've got a chi pile there. That's a traditional Chinese clothing. So let me start explaining how we get from Joven to Schoeven. From Joven to Schoeven, there's actually no direct transportation, which makes it quite complicated. So you actually have to take a bus back to Reifang Station, which is where we came from yesterday at the station. And from there, we need to take a train to Schoeven. Just now, we're actually waiting so long because our train come only after 30 minutes. The trains there don't come very regularly, so you need to look at a timetable and make sure you arrive at the right time. Otherwise, you'll be like us waiting at the station for a very long time. That's why now we are a little bit late here but anyway i want to wear good lanterns to the sky when it's dark because i think it will be more beautiful a bit of a background about joven and shivan why is like this name but back then when this when it's Qing dynasty there are actually nine families in joven because joven means nine portions right so there are nine families in joven and the king just gives nine portions to nine families and here shivan means there are ten families here and the king gives ten portions to the families here seven so you're so cute yeah i know Everything here looks so nice. I want to buy everything. In terms of the food and snacks here, so far I'm seeing more or less similar to what you can see in Jofen, for example, like the fried stuff, the new kit, like the ice cream. So yeah, very similar things. I think what's different here is probably the souvenirs. There are more variety of options, especially in terms of Sky Lantern, because this is where it's released, so there are more of them. So this is place Shifan. It's famous only for two things. First, it, it's a lanterns that we're gonna do later. And second, it's a waterfall. We're gonna do this now. From the looks of it, it seems to be still open. How can that waterfall be closed? So I believe it's still opening because many people are still going down the stairs or it is open, okay. I think they close only when it's dark. I think they close only when Google Maps say it's closed. Here you need to cross another suspension bridge and it's not a good sign when you hear the bridge. 
speaking like this is not a good sign and someone just then a British tourist or something he was crossing the bridge and saying like London the bridge is falling down no this is not London's bridge I don't know what I'm talking about but uh. wonderful yes we made it here all right let's have a look at so the view Whoa. Wow. so beautiful look at this view wow, wow. Wow, look at the background from here. Absolutely looks like a painting actually. But I think what impressed me the most about this waterfall is the rock formation. It's, see, it's a bit rugged and it has different shapes. And also I like the algae on the rocks right there. It feels like it's like mixing colors on a palette. So it's really colorful and what a view. Luckily, regardless of the Google map time, we came here and this park actually closed exactly at 6 o'clock. So they gave us a heads up just at 5.30, so now we're slowly making our way back to the entrance. So uh, if you plan your trip here, I will actually recommend you to check out the website instead of Google Maps because otherwise you get the time wrong here. We're going to do the highlight of this place, the Sky Lanterns, the moment that we've been waiting for. So there are so many vendors here, as I was saying, they all sell standard price lanterns. And here, usually they've got three options. Usually it's one color or four color or eight color size. One color is 200, four color 250, and eight color 850. Do you want the money or romantic? Romantic. Romantic? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. We want this one, peach pink. So uh, yeah, that's the ink that you can use to write on the lantern. You gotta watch out for your t-shirt though, I must say. Be careful. Yeah, be <laughs> super careful. Okay, let's write in something interesting. Okay. Wow, you write a lot of goals here. Yeah. I thought you only write one. <laughs> I wrote only one, now I want to write more. <laughs> right more. Okay, okay, okay. See, wow, looks is, beautiful. This is YouTube. One million followers. And it's only like one go. <laughs> <laughs> right more, more, more. Like okay, okay, okay. Right. I'll, I'll color it's... the whole thing. Okay, one, two, three. Let's go. this video thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel put like comment <laughs> yes help our dream come true that yeah. one million can't be reached without your help yes it's true <laughs> okay, okay thanks bye -bye. for watching <laughs> bye 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 bye